to Hobby Electronics and I'm Nick. On this episode of Hobby Electronics I'll be showing you how to make a portable iPod charger. So let's get to it. Okay these are the parts that you'll be needing for your iPod charger. You're needing a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery snap, a 5 volt voltage regulator, a switch, a female USB jack, an enclosure of some sort for your charger. I've got an Eclipse Mids tin with a lid, and some wire. I've got some speaker wire here. You don't need much at all for this. Okay, the first step in this build is to lay out all of your components on your enclosure on the outside so you can see exactly where everything's going to go, like I've done here. And then you, what you want to do after that is to uh, mark out your drill holes, like for your switch there and your USB port here. And, but I might also need to file out a bit of the area here to put the USB jack in. Okay, so I'm back and I've drilled my holes. There's my USB port, I had to file a bit out for that. And my switch. I'm probably going to put a bit of hot glue around the USB port later because it keeps them wanting to fall out. There's a look inside. Okay, this is the schematic to the charger. And one important thing that you need to keep in mind is the way that you face your 5 volt voltage regulator. The way that I have it in the schematic is the writing facing the front and the silver backing to the back. Okay, so here's the final product of my charger. The first thing that I'll be testing is a digital camera. And I'll just plug it in. and switch it on and it does actually seem to be charging it okay the second thing that I'm going to be testing on this charger is an Xbox 360 battery charger Okay, and the charge light came on, so that works. And the last thing that I'll be testing is my iPod Touch. Switch it on. And it doesn't seem to be working on an iPod Touch. Well, despite the charger not being able to charge an iPod Touch, it still makes a pretty handy Xbox 360 battery charger or a portable camera charger.